pilot can eject from the cockpit of an aircraft in less than 4 seconds. James Martin from Crossgar County Down set up Martin's Aircraft Works in Denham, UK in 1929. In a bid to win military contracts, he teamed up with Captain Valentine Baker and in 1934 they established the Martin Baker Aircraft Company. Their first prototype plane was the Martin Baker No. 1. They continued to build a number of prototypes. Tragedy struck on September 12, 1942 when Valentin Baker was killed in a crash while testing the MB-3. Deeply affected by the death of his friend, James Martin refocused the company and concentrated on ejector seat development. An indoor rig was set up in the company and Bernard Lynch, a fitter, became the tester. On the 24th of July 1946, Bernard Lynch made the first successful ejection from a Gloucester Meteor jet. His second ejection test took place shortly afterwards and was filmed from the air. Watch carefully as in the special rear cockpit, Lynch gets ready to fire himself out for the second time. As the seat leaves the plane, the stabilizing drogue preventing the seat turning over in the air opens and then pulls out the seat parachute. In 1961, zero, 0 capability was achieved. This was the ability to eject at zero altitude and zero speed. Martin Baker maintained a test fleet of two Gloucester jets and testing continues today. Sir James Martin died on the 5th of January 1981, was honoured with a knighthood and on banknotes. The Martin Baker Company continues research to perfect the ejector seat. To date, 7,664 pilots owe their lives to the Martin Baker ejector seat.